welcome friends to episode number 51 of Adventures in Welding. And since this is New Year's Day, Happy New Year to you and your family. Hope you made it home all right. Didn't have to wear any, you know, special jewelry. Anyway, today we're going to continue with our exploration of the SMAW or arc welding process. We had a little brief overview last time with the 6010 and the 7018 rod. Now, if you remember, the 6010 have trouble running on some inverter machines, but they're considered the fast freeze rod. They are deep penetrating, kind of low deposit, and the puddle freezes quickly. The 7018 rods are the low hydrogen rods. They have very little hydrogen, which creates embrittlement and cracking in our welds. And they're a good all-around rod for any position. So today, what I brought out for us to play with, I know you can't see the numbers on them. These are what Lincoln Electric calls Fleet Weld 37. And what we just call a 6013. Some people like them, some people hate them. These are uh, in between the fast freeze and the low hydrogen. I believe the group these are in is called the fill freeze group. These have a moderately high deposit rate, good penetration, nice snappy arc. Um, they don't freeze as fast, but they are uh, 6013, so 60,000 pounds of tensile strength. The one, it is an all-position rod, so you've got flat, horizontal, vertical, up or down, and your overhead weld with that. So there shouldn't be any problems. Uh, we're going to run it on DC today. I've got a little plate here. We're just going to run a pad of beads so you can uh, see the technique, see how it looks, see what's going on, all that good stuff. Let me get my helmet and my gear, and we'll get on her. <coughs> Alright, i got my helmet here. This is a very nice helmet from the Eastwood Company. It's the uh, WSH 800 model, and this entire area is all viewing area so it's got a nice wide viewing area I've got our power supply set up for 120 amps um, on the box these fleet welds call for between 90 and 140 so we're going to start a little bit at the high end nice hotter arc see how that goes we're going to try and run a nice straight pad of beads, and we'll look at the characteristics of the weld afterwards, all right? All right. These are 1 8 inch 6013s, by the way, or fleet weld 37. This is one stiff stinger, man. All right, there we are. is with slag on. So we'll go back and knock the slag off.
run two parts of the pillow weld there. And I'm going to finish up the last part of them now. Then I'll knock the slag off. We'll bring it over. You guys can get a nice clear look at it. Now see I'm putting the electrode in the holder at the 45 up this time. I'm not wearing my helmet, am I? <laughs> Alright. I put the holder in at 45 up this time so I can get the correct rod angle to finish up this third part of this fillet. There we go. folks here we are we're done with the 6013s for today there are some of the beads I ran I know they're a little ugly but if you can see in there nice and close there's a really nice tight ripple pattern there from the 6013s and over here is the fillet weld I did be quite honest with you, I didn't clean out the slag enough. And you've got slag inclusions back in there. And that is just not a good way to weld. But friends, that's it for episode 51. Our first episode of 2015. I hope you keep watching. If you like, give me a like, a subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know you were here. Even tell me I suck, I don't care. But I'll see you next time. I will.